Hi, I'm Larry Micarenda, and welcome to the Smithtown Government Access Channel. And with us today is Councilwoman Lynn Nowick, Councilwoman from the town of Smithtown. Lynn, so many things going on in the town of Smithtown this year. Yeah, all good things. Uh, yes, all good things. Um, so far, a nice summer um, yes. in Smithtown. We've been blessed with that. And one of the biggest things that uh, Supervisor Vecchio has been talking about which was in the state of the town, was the shape of the town and the budget. Um, do you mind telling the public a little bit about that? Oh, lots of good things are happening. And uh, yes, the supervisor for the first time did do a state of the town. And I think you'd be very pleased to hear about it. And I think the public would be very pleased to hear about it. Now, the first thing that has to come to mind uh, if we look at this, the whole state of the town was the bond rating. The bond rating has gone up, which means when the town goes to borrow money, they borrow at a lower rate. Can you tell us a little bit about that? We uh, have received in 2017 what is called the triple bond rating. It's the gold standard of bond ratings. Now, uh, just to tell the public a little bit about what a bond rating is so they understand it. You can hear the words all the time, but just to understand it, uh, a bond rating allows us to borrow at a lower rate. It would be sort of like, uh, it would be like your own home mortgage application. The first thing they would ask you is, what is your credit rating? You buy a car, they want to know your credit rating. And why do they want to know that? Well, first of all, they want to know if you have a good credit rating, but the better your credit rating is, the lower your interest is. So it goes the same, it's the same thing for the town. If you have a low, if you have a good bond rating, if it's a AAA, the best there is, by the way, uh, we can borrow at a lower rate. And also, one, one of the big, biggest things I have to say that, that's in this is no tax increase for the town of Smithtown. No tax increase and, and possibly a decrease as well. Now, we did not have a tax increase last year either. Uh, in 2017, we had a tax decrease as well. In 2016, no increase. So uh, we are very fiscally conservative in the town of Smithtown, but we do pay attention to keeping up the quality of life as well. And we, we understand that you do have to borrow sometime, you do have to spend money for infrastructure, you do have to spend money to keep up the buildings and the, uh, the equipment. So we do understand that as well. And also in this budget is some environmental initiatives that are going to be taken by uh, you, the town board, and the supervisor um, to help out the town. Could you tell the public a little bit about that? Well, we have been proactive in uh, looking into solar panels on the tops of many of our buildings. Uh, our environmental department head, Russ Burnett, is looking into that. And uh, we will be doing that shortly, when we f and we'll find out what buildings we can put that on, and that'll save us a lot of money. And we're also, what we did do is LED lighting for all of the residential street lights. Now that saves approximately $425,000 a year uh, with not having to pay to PSE&G. That's pretty good. We save a lot of money there. It's, uh, over. Two years, you're saving $100,000. You could take that $100,000 and you can put it towards a lot of good things. And the funny thing is, a lot of people complain about their household, uh, you know, like a PSCG bill. Uh, to have a town, people would probably faint if they saw the monthly bill that Smithtown gets for electricity. Can you imagine the monthly bill? If, we, if we're saving $425,000 on LED lights, I guess that makes us all think about our homes also. Maybe it wor it's worth the LED lights. Oh, yeah. And environmentally, of course, less, less power. You know. Absolutely. Clean energy. But with the, uh, the whole initiative, are you, the, the town going to plan to expand on the LED lighting, you think, in the future? Well, right now it's residential street lighting, and I think that the town definitely wants to expand. Now, you know, there's a price involved in, in changing over, but it's worth it. In the end, the money that is saved is certainly worth it. And environmentally. It's, it's clean. It's, uh, environmentally, it's the right thing to do. And the town is very proactive also in that as well. And if we take another section of the State of the Town address, there's also road improvements that are going to be made in the town of Smithtown. Can well, you tell us a little bit about the that? The highway department in the town of Smithtown has been very busy. They have a road improvement program. Over 2017, we did about, I'm going to say about 25 miles of road. Now, that's a lot of road. I mean, if you think of how long it takes to get from the town of Smithtown into New York City, uh, that, that's half of the roads there. So we've been able to put a lot of road in, uh, money not only into the road program, but also putting 
about $2 million into sidewalks. Now, I have learned in the many years that I have been an elected official that some of the things that matter to people, guess what? Their roads, their sidewalks, that, that's part of their quality of life. Uh, I'm a walker, I walk in the town, and I know if your sidewalks are bubbly uh, and there's a chance you can fall, uh, people are not happy with that. So we're very, uh, we're very concerned about that and we're putting money into that. Another problem that we've noticed too, um, and we uh, did a show a couple of years ago, was that some of these beautiful trees that are in Smithtown, their roots have a nice habit of lifting up the whole sidewalk uh, and making a very dangerous situation for residents. Yeah, we've had a lot of problems with that, uh, trees lifting up the sidewalks. In fact, we're just putting in money, um, $2 million into a tree program for Kings Park and Smithtown, and also, we had problems in St. James down uh, the main street where the electric companies, and, and they had to do this, but they trimmed the trees back from the wires. <laughs> what that did is make all the trees look like mushrooms. Uh, so we have put money into uh, our budget to redo, take out the big trees that are ruining much of the sidewalks, take out the big trees and put in trees that are more dwarfed uh, and more aesthetically pleasing rather than the mushrooms that were cut off. And that's also good during uh, storms, hurricanes. And you know, we had hurricanes. We, we didn't realize what a hurricane could do until a few years ago. Yeah, and so, Smith Town got really we got beat hit up hard. pretty much the yeah. whole Yeah, I live in St. James island. and we got hit hard in St. James. Yeah, and everybody was without electricity and stuff like that. And uh, two weeks in my house, yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> and you know, a lot of people understand that you know, they think that, oh, well, you can just lift up the slab of concrete and cut the roots and lay it back down. Well, you when you do. cut the roots, sometimes you kill the tree. So, you know, for the people, you know, the uh, tree huggers and the people that want to preserve some of these trees, um, you know, they you can only do so much. And that's why they get a, you know, chop shop job by yeah. the SEG. They come down and they just shave anything that's within 10 feet of they the wire. They came in, in, particularly in the St. James area, and they, they cleaned them out. And, and yeah, uh, we want the wires to be free from the trees. But uh, the town has a tree program, and we are going to be doing that very shortly because there is a time frame in which you can plant a tree. So uh, that, that is certainly on the list. Yeah, and some residents come out and think a, a plague of locusts came by and uh, chewed up their yeah. tree or something. But, but they're not <laughs> happy about it. Ha they understand right. why that had to be done, but they, you know, they like to look at pretty things. And I'm going to bring up a subject that's very dear to your heart, that's, that's always been dear to your heart, is the uh, senior citizens in Smithtown. And now the Senior Citizen Center is getting a, a little bit of a makeover, some help coming their way? Yeah, we, we have already started that. It's almost uh, at completion. Uh, actually, one of the things that we were able to do for the senior citizens, through, um, through a procurement, a New York State procurement program, we were able to buy two minivans the minivans for senior citizens, two minivans for $15,000 from a non-for-profit that wasn't going to use them. I so, was going to say, did you have an uncle in the business No, or no, no, but we were very lucky. <laughs> uh, we, you know, the town is very uh, proactive in looking for grants, and uh, this pro procurement, it's a hard word to pronounce, uh, worked well for us. We saved $100,000. With that $100,000 we saved and an additional amount of money, we were able to do um, redo the facade of the Senior Citizen Center, uh, all the skylights. And you know, if you don't redo your skylights, you have leaks and that, that just mushrooms. Um, we did the front portico. So our seniors are very active. They do need the minibuses to get, many of them don't drive, but if you go to the center and watch how active, more so probably than me lately. Mm -hmm. uh, they're dancing, they're playing bingo, they have craft fairs, uh, they have shows they do. So the seniors are very important to us in the town of Smithtown. And I have to say it's, it is the Eugene Kenataro Senior Citizen Center. And I, uh, I say that to you because you know that Eugene Kenataro was my dad and I'm so happy to say that it was named after him. He was instrumental in starting the Senior Center many years ago when he was the council person. So it's, uh, it's dear to me.
Yeah, there is a history uh, with you and, and the town of Smithtown. There is a long history. My dad was a councilman for 25 years. So uh, when I gave up, when I couldn't run for the legislature and decided I didn't want to leave government, uh, it was fortunate for me that I could sit in the council seat where he sat. And didn't you start out as the tax receiver? Smithtown? I did. I was six years tax receiver. Uh, then I was in the legislature for 12 years, as you know which was, uh, I was very fortunate to be able to do that and do some good things. And so uh, I also feel blessed that I can be still working in the town of Smithtown. And uh, I always say, not to be corny, but when you get to sit in these spots, you get to help people. And that was one of the things I was going to bring up. Some of the senior citizens' activities, there's really a lot going on. I was really surprised when I <laughs> yeah. looked at this calendar. Concerts, a dance, <laughs> bingo. Uh, I was like, wow, I mean, and when dancing, do they have all the time for this stuff? And know? parties and dancing and, um, and line dancing and, and the craft fairs. And they, it's just a wonderful thing. And stuff with concerts and music. And yeah. uh, I, I was like, it, it just really like blew me away. I was like, you know, um, the town of Brookhaven has uh, similar programs going on in seniors. And you guys are pretty much like matching Brookhaven. And I'm like, you know, some town is much smaller. So you must have a very, very active senior citizen we, community. We do. And it's a beautiful center. Big, large rooms. Uh, they have good parties there. So uh, it's, 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 it's a pleasure to do these things for them. And as we had stated uh, before in the beginning, it is summertime. And what's open and what's so beautiful about Smithtown, but all the parks and wow. recreation that you can you can do out there. And in the budget, uh, in the state of the town, it was mentioned there are some uh, improvements that are going on with, with uh, oh, the yeah, parks. Oh, yeah, we've had a lot of improvements. Uh, we've done new bathrooms at Hoyt Farm. We've done new bathrooms um, at the, um, uh, the Bluff in Kings Park, new ramps for handicapped. We're also doing a lot of work at Gaynor Park, Mauritius Road Park. Uh, we, have, we have been replacing the jungle gyms. We've been replacing tennis courts, basketball courts, making it safe for the children on the playground and on the play gyms. Uh, if you don't replace them, there's, there's an issue with children climbing on rusted equipment. So all of that is new. Uh, our parks and beaches are beautiful in Smithtown. We have uh, Long Beach and Short Beach and Callahan's Beach, boat ramps, and uh, very fortunate. We have uh, Smithtown Landing Country Club, and uh, I was recently playing golf there, and it's, it's in beautiful condition. It's, it's really, it's pristine. It was many years ago, and I, I've lived here all my life, so I can <laughs> tell you things. Many years ago, it was a private country club, and the town, in its infinite wisdom many years ago, bought the club for a town facility. Uh, it has swimming pools and uh, many programs for kids. But I have been to, pri to uh, government con uh, golf courses. This, this is a beautiful golf course. This is taken care of. Uh, Mike Hebron is the pro and he's very good. He's, he's actually he's famous uh, in any of the Golf Digest magazines and we're fortunate to have him. But it overlooks the Nisiquag River, and it's uh, the north shore of Long Island is a very pretty, it's a very hilly course, but it's. Yes, when, you know, when I, I was able to, I was fortunate enough to go out there, and, and you know, the ride is like going into the back cave. I know. And you're going through these back roads, and then the, you hit it, and this thing just opens all up and yeah the the grass um the you know the uh, the what do you call the halfway houses or whatever yes. they have around there and then the the water uh, it's it's just beautiful it's, it's the like you, river and many of the holes overlook the river uh and you're right the rolling rolling hills and grass and and it's it's just it's just a very beautiful club and we're very fortunate to have that and a lot of people tell me it's not exactly an easy course to play. It is not. <coughs> it's long mm -hmm. and it's uh, hilly. So you want to take your driver with a lot of loft. Well, I'm just interested how you how you did because you said you went out there golfing. Did, I, you, did uh, you do the full full 18? Oh, I, yeah, I always did the full 18. <laughs> I did. I did the full 18 and uh, I, I did okay. Not, you know. Well, 
that's, so being an old time Smithtown girl, you're used to going up and down those hills and the woods and everything. Oh well, else, you know, right? I'll tell you something more. When <laughs> we were young kids, we used to go to the 18th hole of Smithtown Landing when it snowed, and we'd get on the sleds and come down. You're not allowed to do that anymore. And I don't know how our parents let us do that, but I, you know, it was different times. Or how we survived, because some of those hills. I mean, you could probably get a good 25, 30 miles oh, per you, hour. Oh, you, you can. And, it, you know, and that's dangerous. We don't allow that in Smithtown anymore. But when we were kids, it was a different. It wasn't, first of all, it wasn't even a government uh, club at the time. It was private. So they closed it up in the winter, and there we were. Yeah. And I get just like I say, it just goes to show your history with Smithtown. Yeah, I'm a lifelong Smithtown uh, resident. Getting back to the state of the town, yes. uh, the other thing um, that Mr. Vecchio, you, yourself, and the council have been working on is some of these grants that you want to apply for. Some new grants that are that are coming your way. Yeah, well, we're very active in applying for grants, uh, particularly for environmental um, issues, and and also, as I said, the proc procurement grant worked out very well for us. Uh, and we will continue to do that. And with all these, uh, some of the grants that have come out, the new ones, um, there's also been a consolidation thing with the state of New York. They're looking for, you know, uh, Governor Cuomo is giving out awards for all the towns that can consolidate as much as they can. Um, there's going to be future grants that are going to be coming down from the Fed towards the end of the year and beginning of the year, and I'm assuming that Smithtown is going to apply for them? We will apply for the grants. We have uh, very good grant writers. And uh, that makes a difference in your budget. It really does. Now, Lynn, when you were a Suffolk County legislator and I did a program with you, you had uh, been instrumental in giving out this thing that was called Narcan. Yes. Which, in case somebody had overdosed, they would be uh, given this, save their lives, okay, basically. And you were uh, very instrumental in that legislation. The legislation passed, and you know this uh, this Narcan was given out. Now the opium opioid epidemic has become, you know, an epidemic. It is is beyond its control, and the town of Smithtown now has this group called Horizons. Yes, coming into it. You mind telling the public about uh, that? Yeah, Horizons is our. Um, uh, it, it sits by itself. And it's a building that uh, has uh, accommodations for people that have problems. They, their theory is, uh, it's a three-prong theory for uh, addiction. And that would be, um, first of all, it would be education, uh, it would be prevention, and uh, then treatment. And, and if anybody felt there was a problem, whether in their family or with themselves or with somebody they know, and they wanted to call Horizons, they'd spend about five or ten minutes on the phone with one of the counselors uh, who would gather up all the information and then make an appointment to see a counselor. And their programs are wonderful. And by the way, it's not just for addiction. Uh, there's other programs involved. There's uh, bullying, cyberbullying. Uh, family problems, you know, family problems can lead to addictions, uh, plus the substance abuse. So it is, uh, in fact, recently they won an award. Um, it was the, um, they won an award for their work in substance abuse, for counseling, and uh, we were recognized in the town of Smithtown. We have a great team there, and I would say that anybody that had issues uh, would call. And there was a lot, there's a lot of help to be had. So uh, this uh, Horizons number, I'm pretty sure, is on the stuff, uh, the town website. Yes, I'm sure it is. And uh, so if people are having problems or there are certain issues, they can call them. I'm pretty sure if um, Horizons could not handle it, they would pretty much steer you where you could. Get they can steer you in all different directions. Tell you about all different programs. Um, they can teach you. A, and a parent, they teach a parent. They have uh, clinics, they have uh, meetings, they have clinics on bullying, they have clinics on substance abuse, clinics for, pa uh, for parents, for families. Uh, there's a lot of learning to be done, particularly when you're raising uh, middle school children, because that's where it starts. And you know, when you mentioned Narcan, I had done a uh, Narcan program where uh, I had invited the, uh, my constituency to come to learn about Narcan and uh, once you do, you get a prescription for it. A at that time, it was a shot in the muscle. Right. 
uh, now it's um, it's taken in through na nasal passages. Right. So it's if anybody overdoses, it is the one thing that can save someone. Uh, so that's very important, and it's important to know about. And all of our Horizon counselors are trained in Narcan, as is the Suffolk County Police Department through the, the legislature had right. mandated that. So, you know, because uh, to say that, like, Smithtown is, you know, excluded from this opium epidemic, oh, no. you know, it's, every, it's absolutely everywhere. Um, it's out of control. The, 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 you know, the president is... Uh, coming down to deal with gangs and drug dealers yes. and everything like that. Um, it, it's a real problem in Suffolk County it and is a in problem, the towns. And it starts and and it starts when kids are in middle school. And it starts, I mean, I did a lot of work with this at the legislature and, and it starts with simple things, kids trying to have take alcohol in, and, and then they go to marijuana. Uh, when that's not enough, it's their parents' uh, uh, Prescriptions, pills, or pills, prescriptions, yeah. or whatever, and that becomes too expensive. Yeah. So you know, the cheapest thing then is that heroin. It's very scary. Yeah, and the next uh, thing I have to say that's been dear to your heart for even your prior to your legislative days has been animals and the Smith uh, Smithtown Animal Shelter. Um, what's going on with the budget with, with the, the animal shelter? Well, we uh, we are looking to renovate the animal shelter. We've had uh, counselors in that tell us what we should do, uh, told us you don't need a whole new building, but we need a lot of renovation. Uh, public safety now is, the public safety department now is uh, helping to run the animal shelter. And uh, what we had to do is, in order, we wanted to clean it up, to redo it until, until the actual building starts. So we've uh, brought in a mobile office and we're working on cleaning it out. Uh, there are a lot of programs for animals. We recently had a program. Uh, we have an issue with a lot of cats. We don't have a lot of dogs, but we have a lot of cats and uh, a lot of senior cats. And unfortunately, everybody wants to adopt a kitten, but, you know, right. full-grown cats they're not so happy with. And uh, what we did was uh, we had a, um, a senior adoption day, and 37 cats were adopted. Uh, black cats are a little hard to get rid of, but you know I would take them all. But I don't think I should do that. Uh, we had uh, empty the shelter day coming up, which we just passed uh, a bill for, and so uh, we're looking mostly to adopt the animals, and the, those that are there and that are going to be there. Our volunteers are great walking the dogs, and we want to make sure they're taken care of. Yeah, and like you said, you've always had that, you know, uh, soft spot in your heart for the uh, for the animals. So I'm surprised if I went by your house, it wouldn't be like Lynn's Animal Kingdom. That well, would be, there you is know, a uh, sign that says Crazy Cat Lady, <laughs> but I tried to uh, play that down a little bit. Yeah. Um, but even, and when you think of animals, I was outside Town Hall today, and uh, the uh, Smithtown Second Site had their dogs. They were walking their dogs, working dogs. I mean, it's a pleasure to watch. Animals need to be loved and taken care of. I'm just glad that there's no no lion, natural lions and tigers in the Smithtown area. No, no, they they, might no end up being. but but that <laughs> animal shelter has uh, they have chickens and they have more than just dogs and cats, yes. roosters and and uh, pheasants and all sorts of things. So the improvements are on the way and being done. Yes. In the oh yeah. Shelter. Yeah. Uh, in fact, we um, we had a um, a local person in uh, Nissaquag, uh, no, I'm sorry, head of the harbor, and they made a contribution, a rather large, nice contribution, for us to put a new dog walk up in the animal shelter. So that's uh, being done also. And we're, that's great. we're lucky we have a great constituency. And for the cat owners out there, do you mind explaining what a dog walk is? Uh, oh, well, for the cat <laughs> owner, well, a dog, walk, a dog walk is going to be in the back of the shelter. Uh, it'll be fenced, it'll be large area, with fencing so the dogs can't get out, but they don't have to be on a leash uh, so they can run and get all that uh, extra energy out of them. You know, they need to run too. They're in a, can they're in a kennel, albeit a large kennel, but they're in kennels. So um, that's what that's going to be. And the volunteers and will walk them. And also when people are going to adopt, they can go out there and have a meet and greet with the animal. In, in that type of surrounding. We actually too. have also a meet and greet room in the shelter with couches and uh, coffee and just a way to sit around and get to know the animal that you might adopt. 
Well, we're almost out of time here, Lynn, but I did want to ask you a question. Where do you see the future of Smithtown going? What would you like to see? Well, I, I have to tell you, um, I believe, and I know a very important thing, are taxes. And I believe in the past, with Supervisor Vecchio and the town board, we have kept tight controls. Uh, we do not see taxes going up this year, and as I said, maybe a decrease this year. Uh, we are very uh, vigilant with the quality of life and making sure our buildings are in good shape. And if we need equipment, we make sure that we have to purchase equipment. We do. We want to keep the taxes down. We want to keep the beauty of the parks and beaches. Um, most people that live in Smithtown love their town. They love what they have. And uh, it's our job to keep the quality of life where it is. Yes, I noticed that with the Smithtown residents. There's a lot of pride there is and a lot, uh, of pride. a lot of, let's say, uh, ownership. They like to really, you know, this is my town. I grew up here. Yeah. My father grew up here. My grandfather grew up here. There's a lot of family lines that go way back in Smithtown. There are a lot of family lines. You know? I mean, I, I, I go to my high school reunion and I still see people that live in St. James, Smithtown uh, in the area. Uh, that's a good sign. Uh, same people you went sleigh riding with at yes. the golf course. Yeah, and I won't tell you how many years ago, but I... I do. <laughs> Well, Lynn, it's great having you on the show, but let's just, uh, in case the public wants to get a hold of you, what's the, uh, the number that they can reach they you? They can dial 631-360-7621, and uh, they can reach me at any time. And Smithtown, unlike some of the other uh, townships, does not have councilmatic districts, so you handle the whole town yes. along with yep. the other board members. And, and a very large part of my job, and almost the largest part of my job, is handling handling or helping constituency uh, if there's a problem. They know to call the council office or the supervisor's office. Uh, I know Supervisor Vecchio answers every letter he gets. We try to answer every phone call, every letter, uh, every email. Of course, now it's emailing. And uh, that's, that is that is the job, trying to help people navigate the system uh, when they're at their wits end if they want to call us. And um, I'm in the book. I mean, well, I guess there's not books anymore, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, you, e know, but you know, that's, it's there. So uh, if right. people want to call me, I'm in town. Well, Lynn, we're basically out of time. I do want to thank you for, for coming down and giving us all this information, letting us know what the state of the town is, what's going on in the budgets, what's going on basically everywhere in the town of Smithtown. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Well, it's my pleasure, and we have a beautiful town, and I think I'm very fortunate to be living here all my life. Well, thank you, Lynn, for coming on. Thank you. Till next time, for the Smithtown Government Access Channel, I'm Larry Mike Arenda. This has been Smithtown Town Council Update with Lynn Norwick. We'll see you soon here. Have a happy and safe summer.